Hello students, Quinto A and Quinto B, this is Miss Mariana here and I'm going to work with you today. And today we are going to start unit number four. Yes, this unit is about jobs, professions and occupations. Okay, so what do you understand about jobs, professions or occupations in Spanish? What's the meaning? Do you know? Very good. Uh, in Spanish mean profesiones, ocupaciones u oficios y trabajos en general. Okay, so first I need you please pay attention to the following video, okay? Okay, in this video, we are going to watch some kids, um, little kids, talking about uh, what they want to be when they grow up. Uh, their jobs uh, of their dreams, el trabajo de sus sueños, what they want to be when they grow up. Es lo que quieren ser ellos cuando grandes, okay? So pay attention, look and listen, okay? Have fun, que lo disfruten. Here we go. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be... Hey, I never think thought of that. Uh, let me think about that. Whoa. I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Elementary teacher. I like little kids. A babysitter. A pastor. A dolphin trainer. A gentle without eight buds. A hair cutter. A person who helps in charities. I mean, cashier at Walmart. A author. Chapter books about mythical creatures and animals and things. I want to be a lawyer. Lawyer. Pilot. 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 And a dad. A pilot racer dad. Scientist. Scientist. Paleontologist. Mind for dinosaur bones and study them. YouTuber. Movie star. A famous actor. 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 <laughs> On stage, on TV, on Disney Channel, or commercials. I gotta be a model. Model. Okay. If I want a model, I have to be a policeman. Police, police. Police. Police officer. I got police. Cartoons. Cast yes, bad guys. A superhero. Batman. Finally. I would like to go into the U.S. Army because my grandma, she loved the army, but she never went into the service. I want to be. Third African American gymnast. Gymnastic coach. I want to be a professional dancer. 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 Dance teacher. Ballerina. Professional soccer player. I have a shirt on right now, but I got the one. Soccer player. Basketball player. Basketball player. Soccer player. Or baseball. I can never teach. I do not know. I'm still working on that. Maybe when I grow up, I'll say it. I already have a whole plan. Started the Air Force for 20 years, become a businessman, make my own company for cars. I want to be a Pokemon trainer. I want to work at Target. I want a date. I want to be a pop star. Rock star. Singer. 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 Uh, I want to be a cook. A cook. But I don't really know how to actually cook. I want to be an artist. I want to paint I want to be an artist that goes around painting walls. A artist and a video game maker. Video game designer. Video game maker. I want to be a filmmaker. Um, whatever my dad is. Oh, you want your dad in? I'm not sure. I want to be a doctor. 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 A mommy. I want to be a doctor. Yeah. Heart surgery. You're a Cardiologist, gynecologist, pediatrician, the kid's doctor, pediatrician. And why do you want to do that? I want to be a doctor and then I can wear rainbow sweatpants. I really want to be a nurse. Everyone says you have to be very good at science and math. I'm not really, but I still want to be one. I want to be a pet doctor because I like helping animals. Pet vet. Pet vet. Veterinarian. Veterinarian. Zoologist. Princess fairy zookeeper. How much do you think I paid? $29. Okay, we have just watched this video, that this very entertaining video about different opinions of different kids uh, talking about what they want to be when they grow up. We watch and listen some examples, very common examples of professions like doctor, teacher, lawyer, um, police officer, etc. But however, there were other kids talking about very not usual words or jobs like mermaid or princess or Pokemon coach, etc. So 
Uh, what about you guys? Quinto and Quinto B. What do you want to be when you grow up? Mm? Do you want to be a pop star? Do you want to be a teacher like me? Or do you want to be a football player? What do you want to be? If you're not sure how to express or what's the name in English of what you want to do when you grow up, I'm going to teach you now. We're going to learn today 10 different jobs in English. Okay, so pay attention. Here we go. Uh, let me see. Okay, this is unit number four. People and professions, that's the title of the unit. And the objective for today is to recognize vocabulary related to jobs, okay? So as you can see, that's the name, the number on the objective for today's video, okay? So let's continue. Please, uh, dear students, I need you now open your English copybooks sus cuadernos de inglés, and write down the name and number of the unit and the objective for today. Remember that the number is unit four, the name of the unit is people and professions, and the objective for today is to recognize vocabulary related to jobs. Ya, entonces les voy a pedir eh, que en sus cuadernos de inglés escriban el nombre y número de la unidad, que es Unit 4, People and Professions. Y el objetivo de la clase de hoy de este video que es reconocer vocabulario relacionado a trabajos. To recognize vocabulary related to jobs. Tómate tu tiempo y cuando estés ready, colocas play nuevamente en el video. So now you're ready, let's continue. We are going to uh, see 10, 10 different jobs in English um, that we are going to study in Unit 4. Okay, so pay attention. Here we go. Look and listen. Builder. Okay, that's number one. Builder. Can you repeat builder? Very good. Let's see number two. Here we go. Chef. Okay, that's chef. Can you repeat chef? Perfect. Now let's see number three. Here we go. Journalist. That was number three, journalist. Can you repeat journalist? Excellent, very good job. Let's see number four. Scientist. Very good job. So that's number four, scientist. Can you repeat scientist? Excellent. Let's see number five. Musician. Okay. Can you repeat musician? Very good job. Let's see number six. Film star. That's film star. Can you repeat film star? Very good job. Let's see number seven. <clears throat> Inventor. Very good. That's inventor. Can you repeat inventor? Perfect. Let's see the next one. Basketball player. That's basketball player. Can you repeat basketball player? Very good. Let's see number nine. Politician. Very good. That was politician. Can you repeat politician? Excellent. And let's see the last one. Mm 
number 10. TV presenter. So that's number 10, TV presenter. Can you repeat TV presenter? Very good job, excellent, very good pronunciation. Now let's see these meanings, or uh, the meanings of these jobs or professions in Spanish, okay? Let's see. Builder in Spanish is constructor. Chef in Spanish is cocinero. Journalist in Spanish is periodista. Scientist in Spanish is científico. Uh, musician in Spanish is músico o música. Film star in Spanish uh, is estrella de películas, estrella de cine. Inventor in Spanish is inventor. Muy similar, muy parecido al español y al inglés. Basketball player in Spanish is jugador de basketball. You can change this. For example, football player, jugador de fútbol. Handball play, player, jugador de handball. Baseball player, jugador de baseball, etc. Then we have <clears throat> this one. Politician in Spanish is político. Okay. And the last one. TV presenter in Spanish is eh, eh, presentador de televisión. Okay, in este caso de noticier. Okay, so let's continue. <clears throat> okay, dear students, now I need you please open your English copybook one more time, que abran sus cuadernos de inglés una vez más, and please write down, draw, and color these 10 different jobs, professions, or occupations in English. Okay, with their names in English, in fact. So what you have to do is, vas a dibujar, colorear y escribir el nombre de cada uno de estos 10 trabajos que, te está, que estás viendo en tu pantalla. Puedes eh, utilizar estos mismos 10 dibujos que estás viendo en este momento o puedes escoger otro dibujo que sea más fácil. ¿ya? As you want. Eh, puedes trabajar de forma tranquila ahora, tómate tu tiempo. Para eso puedes poner pausa en el video y cuando estés ready colocas play nuevamente. Que te queden beautiful. Ok, dear students, so now you finished drawing, coloring, and writing the names of these 10 jobs of profession or professions in your copy books. I need you please open your student's book on page number 34, okay, the student's book. Here we have the number of the unit, which is number four, the name of the unit, which is people and professions, and the same 10 words that we already watched in the previous presentation. Uh, okay, so let's remember the names uh, of these professions or jobs. Here we have number one, musician. Can you repeat musician? Very good. Number two, scientist. Can you repeat scientist? Excellent. Number three, inventor. Can you repeat inventor? Good. Number four, politician. Can you repeat politician? Excellent job. Number five, builder. Can you repeat builder? Number six, TV presenter. Can you repeat TV presenter? Excellent. Number seven, film star. Can you repeat film star? Very good. Journalist, number eight, journalist. Can you repeat journalist? Good. Number nine, basketball player. Can you repeat basketball player? Good job. And the last one, number 10, chef. Can you repeat chef? Very good job. Okay, dear students from Quinto A and Quinto B. I want to make you a question, virtually of course, and I want you answer to me this, um, this question virtually, of course. What do you want to be when you grow up? From, uh, if, you want, if you have to choose one of these 10 jobs, si tuvieras que elegir uno de estos 10 trabajos, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm? Do you want to be a scientist? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Or maybe, do you want to be a politician? Yes, I do. 
or no, I don't. Mm, let me tell you my case. In my case, Miss Mariana, si yo fuera más chica, of course, because now I am already a teacher. Okay? Si yo tuviera la edad de ustedes y me hubiesen preguntado esto mismo cuando yo tenía, estaba en quinto, mi respuesta sería, I want to be a film star. Yes, in fact, currently, I also want to be a film star. Actualmente aún me, me gustaría ser una, un film star. In fact, yes, it's my secret. So, okay, I'm a teacher. But, so let's continue. We already remember and repeat the 10 words uh, studied in this new unit, unit number four. Okay, acabamos de recordar y pronunciar nuevamente las 10 palabras de trabajo, relacionadas con trabajo, de la nueva unidad 4. Okay, so now please, I need you go to your activity book on page number 34, página 34 de tu activity book, okay? So, here we have got three activities. The first one says, read and write. You have to read the six sentences, the description, we have six description of different professions or jobs. And you have to complete with the correct name of the uh, profession or job or occupation, okay? For example, this person is a professional cook. Professional cook, what's the meaning of cook? Si no estás muy claro o clara de lo que pueden significar, puedes buscar ayuda. In your house, en tu casa, a lo mejor alguien te puede ayudar con los significados. Y si no, feel free to search on Google. Siéntate libre de buscar de repente algunos significados en Google. ¿Ok? O en un diccionario si no tienes diccionario en la casa. So, this person is a professional cook. Veo. What is cook? Ah, cook se refiere a cocinar. Es un cocinero profesional. And what is a professional cook? Is a chef. That's why the example here is ready and says chef. What about number two? Says this person works in politics and government. Politics and government. Aquí nuevamente tenemos two keywords, dos palabras claves. Politics, government. What's the profession? She is a... Mm, ahí tenemos otra pista. Nos está indicando si es un man o una... Woman. So you have to choose he for man or she for woman, according to the to the photographs. So she's a, and you have to write down the name of the profession. What about number three? This person has original ideas and makes new things, creates new things. He's an, uh, and I write down the name of the profession. Number four. This person writes for newspapers and websites. Newspapers, what's the meaning of newspapers? For example, an example of newspaper is Diario de Concepción or The Clinic. Two examples of newspapers and websites, okay? So she's a, and you write down the name of the profession. Number five, this person plays, on, um, plays an instrument and writes music. He's a, you write down the name of the profession. The keywords are instrument and writes music. Ahí tenemos las dos palabras claves. And number six, this person acts in films. Okay, she's a, and you write down the name of the profession. Uh, the keywords, la palabra, las palabras claves son acts and films. So pay attention in that, okay? Next activity, activity number two. Write questions and then you have to answer. Your, it's a personal answer. Yes, I do or no, I don't. For example, do you want to be a teacher? First, we need to look at the photos. Primero, fíjate en la fotografía que aparece here. Okay, photo, it's a teacher. The question is, do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to be a teacher? If your answer is yes, si tu respuesta es yes, you have to choose this answer. Yes, I do. And you write it here. But if your answer is negative, you, you choose this answer. No, I don't. If your answer is positive, you say yes, I do. If your answer is negative, you write no, I don't. Okay. Pay attention to the following. 
all the questions, all the questions start or begins with the same uh, structure. Todas comienzan con la misma estructura que es la siguiente. Las preguntas. Do you want to be... Okay, or do you want to be a, in fact? Do you want to be a... ¿Quieres ser un? Do you want to be a teacher? What about this one? Do you want to be a... Number three. Do you want to be a... Number four. Do you want to be a... Okay. And you have to write the, your answer. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Okay. Let's see uh, activity number three, the last one. Says, write about the professions. Here we have four photographs, okay, about different professions. Here we have a number one, two, three, and four. And you have to write down a very short description about each one of these jobs, okay? Una super de descripción super breve, pequeña, que te alcance en esa línea de cada uno de estos jobs. For example, let's see the example, which is done. Que está ya, ya está hecho, ¿no es cierto? Photograph number one. This is a woman and it's, it seems to be a scientist. So, my example says... A scientist, the profession, works, a scientist works, okay, in science, that's it. A scientist works in science, okay. What about, for example, imagine that you have got a photograph of a teacher. Imagínense que tiene una foto de un profesor o profesora. Sería, a teacher works in education, for example, okay? Or a teacher works, works in a school, etc. Okay? So you have to uh, create three descriptions for the builder, the basketball player, and the TV presenter. Okay, guys and girls. So, to finish, I want you, I want you look at the following video. Pay attention. Okay, guys. As you know, I am a teacher, your English teacher. But teachers not always dream to be a teacher. Okay, no siempre soñamos con ser profesores. In fact, my dream was to be a film star, to be an actress. Yes, it is. Similar to Miss Romina and Mr. Marcelo Moriz, the three of us, the three of us wanted to be actors or actresses. Okay, so pay attention. What had happened if we had been uh, actors or actresses? ¿Qué hubiese pasado si hubiésemos sido actores o actrices? Pay attention to the following. Are you doing magic? Let's see them. I'm Hermione Granger. But you have heard of Captain Dexter. Okay, that was our dream, of course, because now we love our profession, which is to be teachers, to teach you, okay? So um, that's it for today. That's all the video for today. I hope you have uh, really enjoyed the video, okay, about vocabulary for unit four, about professions, jobs, or occupations. Remember that you have to finish the activities before the next mid-session. Recuerden que tienen que tener listas sus actividades de, que vimos hoy en el video antes de la próxima sesión MIT, ¿ok? On Tuesday, quinto A with Miss Jessica y al next Friday, um, quinto B with me, Miss Mariana. ¿Ok? 
guys. So see you next time. Nos vemos una próxima vez. Kisses and hugs and take care. Okay. So bye bye.